Hi friends, uh, good morning. Today I am going to teach uh, a small concept called a batch of creation uh, for our automatic PO creation. Okay. For automatic PO creation, if you want to run the batch job daily without running uh, manually every time. Okay. And I am going to teach the same kind of uh, procedure we can follow to create batch job for any other uh, transactions also. I will explain in a simple way without making more complex in the technical wise. Okay. Because uh, I cannot say like this is an ABAP work, but uh, when it comes to the uh, several scenarios of batch job creation, uh, maximum things will be dealt by ABAP consultant. But as a function consultant, we should know how a job can be created. The simple job can be created easily as a functional consultant also. But if you want to have certain options and certain functionalities and all, uh, we have to take the help of ABAP consultant. Today we are going to learn or create a batch job creation the procedure and what are the basic steps we are supposed to follow. So first of all, uh, as I told you that uh, we are going to learn creating the batch job for automatic PO creation. First go to SC93. Okay, in SC93 give the transaction code which we use for the automatic PO creation. The transaction code is ME59N and click on display. See once you give that uh, display you will get the program name. Okay, just remember the program name. I will keep the screen open. I will open another screen. Now we can go to ME59N transaction code. First of all, we need to create the variant. Okay, uh, the creation of variant we can do from the screen itself or else uh, we can use an another transaction code called uh, SHD0. We can use this uh, SHD0 transaction code also to create the variant. Okay. As I told you, we are going to in a uh, simple without making more complex and directly creating the variant in the transaction code itself. Uh, some uh, few transaction codes won't have an option of creating the variant and all. We can use the SHD0. See how can you create that uh, thing? Variant means what are the input parameters you want to keep it. For example, I want to uh, create from my plant GKP1 and uh, I can create for the per company code and per plant that options I can select it and uh, for uh, whatever the purchase requisitions which are available for my plant with the respective points like uh, what are the uh, prerequisites to create automatic PO like um, Material master should have an auto PO indicator, vendor master should have an auto PO indicator and uh, info record should be available and also we have to fix the vendor in the source list. If you make that all settings are uh, accepted then system will generate the PO automatically from the purchase requisitions. I am keeping that the purchase requisitions which are having the plant that we can system will consider and generate the POs. Okay, I will keep this as a variant. Now save. Okay. Once you click on the save, a system will generate the uh, this variant and all. We can keep GKP1 variant. Okay. Description variant for GKP1 auto PO. Just for our identification only. Then uh, click on enter. Then save it. Okay, now the GKP1 variant is uh, generated. So generally, not only for the background job, we use these variants, uh, variants for the process like for example, you want to run a report and the user wants to give that details and you can tell the user, or uh, user is working for the plant GKP1 and uh, she always wants to uh, maintain that. For example, I will open another, see MB52. Okay, in MB52, user always wants to uh, run the report for the plant GKP1 and storage location triple zero one or plant GKP one. And she wants to get the report and uh, no zero stock line she should have because she has to get the uh, materials with, without any stock. And also she wants to consider the special stocks also. There are some parameters she has to select every time she may forget. That's why we suggest them to create a variant. How do you see plant GKP one she wants and also special stocks and display batch stocks and no zero stock lines we have set the parameters now save it now the, we can give gkp1 
bv something like that variant for gkp1 stock now save see what will happen whenever user comes see here the variant icon has come she will click on this see we will go to the fresh transaction code slash and mb 52 okay uh, if you go to a fresh transaction i think will be selected and all those things it will be like a fresh screen now she will come to that uh, variant and she will select that variant see, as soon as she select that variant plant and whatever the parameters we have given during creation of the variant those details have come automatically now she can execute and she will get the respective report in that case also we use this variant okay, now we are going to our purpose what we are doing okay we have created the variant okay gkp1 variant was created by us we have to create we have created a variant and uh, we have taken the program okay now we are going to create the batch job to create the batch job the transaction code is sm36 in sm36 uh, we have we create the batch job and the, this is the defined background job okay we call it as a batch job a background job job name i am going to create test gkp1 underscore me 59n okay this is the one we are going to create a job name then click on step once you click on the step you will get the different uh, options ABAP program external command and program and all we are going to use the ABAP program what is the program which we have taken from the transaction code this is the program okay now given the program then click on variant click on f4 you will be getting the list of variants which are available for me59n program we have created this variant for our requirement select that variant and click on check then save see this is the parameters the variant who has created and what is the program type and what is the program name these details we got it now come back okay you can save now click on start condition see once you click on start condition there are different options are there immediate you have to run the batch of immediate or if you have to run the date and time certain dates and time you want to run it and also after job after event there are uh, one job will run after that only it has to run otherwise there is an event after that event only it has to run such kind of any dependencies also we can do uh, as I told you these kind of activities will be handled by ABAP consultant okay uh, now we are going to learn the basic batch of creation that's why we are going to select this date and time when it's supposed to start scheduled start date today's date the time we can give when you want to start we can give 11 58 okay when you want to run it 59 or whenever you want to give then enter okay no start after sometimes what will happen you want to uh, start uh, scheduling start date we generally use that one when you want to start the batch up if you want to restrict and all we use the second option after that you can see the icon called periodic job what is use of periodic job you can click on f1 also to get the details if you get that periodic jobs uh, like uh, every day you want to run every hour you want to run every month you know, that kind of periodic things we will set here after click on the periodic job click on period values see system is giving that hourly job or daily job or weekly or monthly you are to going to give daily job every day you want to run for example now i am going to take as a every day you want to run it now save it and if you go there daily selected save okay now you can go to the restrictions if you want to give any other restrictions like uh, whether the job has to run always or do not execute job on Sundays or holidays hmm? daily job you want to run or only working days you want to run okay uh, that kind of restrictions also we can keep here now save it okay. when you when you select this uh, Sundays or holidays system is asking to select the factory calendar on which factory calendar system has to consider 
because system has to know right which is holiday and which is uh, Sunday and all those things. That's why calendar ID we have to give. Now save it. These are the restrictions if you want to give. And these are the period values, daily or hourly. And uh, start date we have given. Now save it. Okay, now the bad job is saved. Now click on save. See this job is released. Now it is in the release condition. We can go to uh, SM37 to test that or else from here also we can directly go there. Job selection. Okay, if you go to job selection and uh, you can give this, selected that, execute it. You will get the list of uh, jobs which are available here. See here, there are different jobs are available which is in uh, scheduled and uh, finished means there is already one job is already run and which is finished and uh, which are in the religious stays those are also available here we are going to give our bad job which is created what is the bad job click on star see this is the test gkp1 underscore me 59n and uh, okay execute it see it is scheduled and uh, we have released a job also now once we if you want to release any job manually also we can do it okay that also we can do that and uh, we have scheduled for uh, 11 59 it is going to be two three minutes more so after that uh, it will be uh, run according to the plan and whenever you work on bad jobs uh, if you get any issues like you have to select that and click on the job log okay system will give a uh, log uh, whether it is finished or any issues are available let's see that there is one job is available right uh, which is finished okay you can select that and click on the job log then you will get that when the job was started and what is the program and what is the variant okay and um, if any uh, what happened the issues and all those things if the PO is having any uh, faulty items those kind of details also system will provide that whether you want to make it as error message and all we can keep it as I told you like with the help of Apple, we can make uh, which you want to make it as an error message and whether what kind of issues are available while creating the purchase order uh, those details and all the system will provide in the job log and also if you click on the spool uh, system will give that what kind of uh, spool details are available see what the detail PO could not be created requisition could not be converted what is the reason for the PO is not created job is successfully finished but the PO is not created if you go there it is giving a message like uh, tax jurisdiction key was not given that's why system is not able to generate the PO tax reduction case not important. Now these kind of uh, details and all we can uh, get from the background job when you run it. Okay, now we are going to see the uh, job which is created uh, by us and execute it. Okay, what is the job was created and uh, these are the details are available here. Okay. And uh, for example, sometimes you, you didn't remember the bad job which was created by you are uh, normally then you can click on uh, job name star and also username also star and select that options and all and you can remove that date and if you require you can keep the date and give the program name and execute it okay you will get the list of uh, jobs uh, which are available for that program and uh, if you know the program name uh, bad job name directly you can directly give that and execute it. See what are the released and all. See today it has uh, as per the schedule time two jobs are finished and two are in released stays. What is the released stays? If you go and uh, see that uh, log there is no log for released and scheduled. Okay and uh, if you want to see the program of a bad job and all if you are working in a support project select the respective job and uh, click on step okay then you will get the which program is used and uh, what are the variant and who is the user has created the job all details we can get it okay and now we can come back and uh, 
see now there are two jobs are finished now click on job log see it is a no sortable patcher requisition found job is finished but uh, system has not generated any POs because there is no sortable patcher requisitions are found means uh, system didn't find the any patcher requisition with which is having the material vendor everything with the uh, auto PO tick mark the details are not available the job log we can see that this is the way how to create a back job and uh, as a functional what are the things you should know if you are working in a support project there are different batch jobs are running you should be in a position to uh, go to that S, uh, SM37 okay give that uh, job and um, execute it and what are the stages are available okay uh, 17th and what are the start date and end date and all those things and if you give 17th and 18th tomorrow what the job is available that also our system can give the scheduled also see these are the schedule for tomorrow's date and today's date already completed if you get that and go to the job log and you are in a position to read what happened to that job exactly if it is finished and you will get the error message also see here it is saying that no suitable PR was found and otherwise the system has given earlier we have seen that system has given that tax deduction key was not given in the PO this kind of system will provide that respective thing then we can work on the uh, issues to fix the respective issue that is the monitoring of background job that's what we call it as a monitoring of the background job I hope uh, this session was helpful for you to understand the how bad job and at least to analyze by seeing that log and uh, by seeing the data and sometimes this pool also can be activated with the help of a wrapper when you create the background job to get the more clarity about that respective issue why the bad job was failed uh, the people who are working more into this background job monitoring they will monitor this background job and see what is the issue and why it is getting failed any other input parameters were missing or else the data wise any mistake was available and as a functional we need to analyze that respect to functional missing things maybe master data wise or maybe input data wise and we have to fix that issue and the next time onwards the background job has to be passed successfully then only we can call that issue is resolved otherwise still the issue can be considered as an open issue okay i hope this session was helpful for you thanks for you watching subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day